we are looking for more women for the future. How do we fill those pipelines? How do we get more women interested? How do we expose them to the trades? Locally, Magic Camp started six years ago. It is uh, mentoring a girl in construction. We're really just giving them an introduction into construction and all the different things that they can do as a career. Well, I got involved in Magic Camp my freshman year and my dad forced me to come and at first I was like, oh my gosh, no, construction camp. I don't even like walking outside. And then I did the camp and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of good experience and a lot of good exposure and I've enjoyed it a lot. So I've come back. This has been my third year doing it now. I thought it was going to be the worst thing in the world because I didn't want anything to do with construction, but the day I started the camp, I absolutely loved it and I've wanted to come back ever since. I really enjoy Magic Camp because it's got a bunch of like diverse activities and stuff. So we've done bricklaying, carpentry, welding and cutting, electrical work, concrete pouring and finishing. And this year we actually introduced plumbing, which is really cool because we've never done that before, so it was kind of cool to learn something new about one of the trades. I definitely like the carpentry quite a bit, not just because my dad's a carpenter too, but it was a lot of fun because you have all the loose material there and when you walk in it's just a pile of wood and you're like, well, that's not too exciting. And then by the time you're finished with it, you have a product that's very usable. Uh, it's a little stool, have it in your room, put books on it, it's great. You get to paint it, specialize it to yourself. Well, my favorite thing personally is welding only because that's the thing I look forward to the most each year. When you get in and you get to like strike the metal and you see sparks flying, it's like really cool. The job site was really cool to look at because you were able to see how each trade comes and does their thing. We started on the 24th floor with no windows and we showed them all the steps coming all the way down to finished rooms. It's kind of cool to see that this is what it looked like when they first started it and every single step that they take to get it to the finished product. If you're thinking about Magic Camp, I'd say to just go ahead and do it. Even if you're not going to go into one of the trades, just the experience is very good. You have some knowledge about it. Nobody's going to be able to take that away from you. You can apply that to almost anything in the future. It's good to like be exposed to what other people do for a living, so you kind of appreciate them more. Having that mentality that they can do anything is very important to me also. So even if they don't go into construction, I want them to know that they're equal in every way. Women are 50% of the population, and we need to be 50% of the workforce. I have a very big soft spot for construction, and I'm okay with living and working in a man's world, but more women need to be involved. 